I can. Awesome. Um, so a few questions. The first question I have is, so I did the whole um, audience thing and the 30 ads thing uh, inside the ad set. Um, and it seems to me like the US targeting, so um, the location targeting comparing to my lookalikes, like there's just nothing happening here at all. Yeah. So when would you say, like how, how do I cut, uh, when, when will be like now to cut it? Because I mean, yeah. obviously it's just been. It's three times your average cost per lead for the submit app audience and the page view audience. Right. What about, so I'll cut these two, right? Yep. Or should I? Okay. But like if I cut it, then the lookalike, they, then they won't have new data coming in. You know what I mean? Like is that, or is that not relatable at all? No, it doesn't matter. Okay. Because so I'll cut the, the new, the new data, the data that's coming from these is no good anyways. Gotcha. Gotcha. And then, so another question I do want to ask is, so let's say I cut these two. And obviously, like for these guys, like I could, let's see, hold on. Let's see this. I mean, for these two, like I'm getting nine bucks per survey, 18 bucks per survey. Um, I feel like that's good enough for me already. Can I scale that or should I just yeah. cut the ads first before I scale? So which one should I do first? Should, should I cut the ads scale first? first. Or scale first. So I should scale first and then cut the ads. Like when when do I cut the ads then? Uh, you don't need to cut the ads if you're happy with a nine. Okay, so I could just keep like 30 ads in, inside. Yeah. You know? No need to cut the ads if you're happy with the results. Okay, so because, it's a disturbance because that disturbs the process. Right, right. So if I'm happy with like getting these nine, kind of scale results, it up. Yeah, yeah. Scale, scale it up. It up. And these are like just crazy. I never got like these nine bucks per call. That's stupid. That's so, I've been getting like 50, a hundred bucks per call. There you go. That's awesome. I don't even know what you're doing. Like, how do you even think of this? So (laughs) it's so stupid. Like I never, I never, I never imagined that I could get results like this. Well, that's really good to hear. Right. So, and if I were to scale it, like, should I add it? Add the, so it's ten, it's spending ten bucks a day. Like, should I just add on top, like fifteen, twenty, or yeah, just double it, double it. Because I mean, if you're, yeah, just see how it does. Because you don't want to scale over scale too much, but like, just double it. See if it holds or how much it changes. If you're still happy with the results, then I mean, like, you can scale it again. Right, right. And when should I cut like this one as well? Because I mean, this yeah. one's not bad. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and should I test new audiences? Yeah. So different lookalikes, right? Yeah, you should. 30 days, 60 days, 180 days? Uh, really just depends on your data. I mean, you could do 30, 60, 180. I mean, it's, yeah, that one's, that one's uh, just, you just got to look at your data. I mean, there's really not, I mean, you can test them all or just, there's no magic number. It looks like the 180 yeah. day on your cement app might be working better. So you might want to try 180 on another one. Yeah, yeah, I'll definitely try that. I have a lot of data for sure, so I'll probably try 180 p- page engagement and just any th- any lookalike I can find. Yeah. Any lookalike I can find. Okay, good, G- good, awesome. Um, one more question I have is like before discovering this method, like I was using like traditional method of having like ad sets and four four ads inside, and I just want your feedback on that. Like for some reason, I just don't know why. Like results die really, really fast. Let me just show you a typical example. Hold on. So let's sort by results. Wait, no. So this one's my best one. Okay. And let me kind of, and let me kind of show you what happened. And I could kind of, I, if you could kind of give me some feedback on. So it was doing actually pretty good. Obviously, cost per survey is like a hundred bucks comparing to right now it's like nine bucks, but it's still really good for me, hundred bucks. Okay. But the thing with this one is. I'm not sure what's going on. Like it dies really, really fast. Um, let me just do leads here. So like, I, I don't even know why that happens. So like some... your first time impression ratio. First time impression ratio. And it just like, sometimes it's like no leads. And this is like what, in, a, in two weeks, in three weeks. And I can't scale because like, obviously if it's like that, then how the fuck am I supposed to scale? 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Click your auction overlap as well. Hmm. Yeah, so I mean, it's those two things right there. Your first time impression ratio gone down, you're reaching less new people, then your auction overlaps exploded around the same time, and that just suffocated your entire audience and just essentially exhausted any opportunity you had. Right, and maybe this has to do with a interest-based yeah. targeting as well, right? Those two straws broke camel's back. So I just want to I just want to prevent that from happening with with my new campaign because I've been getting that a lot and I hate it. I just can't scale it because it's really inconsistent. What do you sure. recommend? You know, what do you recommend me to do moving forward? Is it at excluding audience or uh, you with your one percent? If it's working, this one right here, submit app, do a two percent. 3%, 4%, 5%, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, go all the way up. And that's going to bring your audience size from 1 million to 2.4 to 4.8 to all the way up to 50 something million. And then scaling is going to be, you're, you're going to have no issues scaling. Right. Because I just don't want your audience size will be massive. You could build 10 audiences off of this one submit application, 180 right. day, do the 2%. Now you've doubled your audience size. And if your cost per survey maintains, around those numbers or even I mean, like even like crazy. even if you're happy with uh triple those numbers you would still be able to scale significantly further than with what you have at the other Dude, items i'm happy with like 100 bucks so if it's like i don't know like 30 bucks that's already i'm pretty happy with that already you know what i mean yeah, so you could build a campaign that's of 10 audiences and do one percent two three four and then do all of them gotcha and do you feel like it makes sense for me to optimize for survey instead of leads? Yeah, you can do that too in a separate campaign. You could test that with your 10 audiences for the submit application one. Yeah. Test that with the 10 audiences, test it with the survey application. You could certainly do that. Gotcha, gotcha. Awesome. Well, yeah, that's, I mean, this is amazing, man. So thanks for the program. Um, dude, should have get it, should have got it earlier, actually. Uh, Last question I want to ask. I don't know my, why, but my retargeting is really bad. So we're yeah. looking at retargeting right here. Like I don't even. Oh, well, you like, need to fix that. Yeah, let's look at that. that. Yeah, it's probably just because of the ads and the ad sets and all that. Um, uh, so uh, I'm doing. Sorry, bad naming here. I'm doing. Let's see. All website visitors in the past 180 days. Okay, you need about four more audiences. Um, Let's write that down. Hold on. For more audiences, yeah. Yeah. So in this one, you're going to exclude your. Uh, so you'll do all website visitors past 180, and then you'll exclude. You'll exclude all website visitors in the past 30, and then you're going to create an audience that's strictly for all website visitors past 30 days for another retargeting audience. Gotcha. Then, so two audiences. Yeah. Then you're going to do another one that's a lead. Then then, do you have another metric in between lead and uh? Your um, website visitors, do you have anything between that? No, I don't think so. Okay, pay, pay then that's the campaign right there. Those are the only two you'll do. And, okay. and then the other one is going to be engagement. So you'll do all ad engagements, 365 days. Okay. And then you're going to do a separate campaign, which is going to be a low funnel retargeting, which is going to be your uh, lead. It's going to be yeah. lead 30 day. It's going to be your, uh, what's the Submit next app. one after that? Submit app. What's yeah, the one after app. that? Um, well, those who didn't close. <laughs> okay, then you just do lead 30 day and then lead and then exclude the lead 30 day and your 180 day lead. And then you're going to have an ad that takes them directly to your survey. Awesome. So I'm just going to. Awesome. So two campaigns, I mean, two, two, two audiences, two campaigns, right? One for the low, low funnel, one for like um, this Hard one right funnel. here. Yeah, you know, exactly. Funnel. So three campaigns total, dude. Man, I'm, I'm, but like besides that, I'm super happy with this. Like I can't even imagine I'm spending ten bucks a day and I'm getting results like this. This doesn't just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, that's phenomenal. That's really awesome. Yeah. All right. Um, I'll keep you updated. But that's 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 all I have today. Um, let me see how I could how far I could take this to. Um, anything else that you see that's a little bit tricky or a little bit like not the way you like it to be here? No, I mean, I think you asked all the right questions and uh, things are looking good. If you just go down that path you're going, I mean, it's going to be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, ideally, if that's looking good, like, I wouldn't cut any ads. But, like, what happens if I do cut ads? 
is that going to affect the results? It could. I mean, because like I I don't even I don't even get this like cost per survey. It's like not even above. I like what that doesn't make sense to me at all. <laughs> well, uh, they'll probably go up, but I mean, yeah, it's probably going to go up. Yeah. Yeah, just leave it alone. And uh, okay. if it if it's if it starts to go real high, and you're noticing like some of these ads aren't getting anything, that's when you start cutting them. Gotcha, gotcha. So I'll I'll increase the budget first. Um, yep. Should I still wait for like the seven days that you mentioned in the program, or should I just do it right now? Uh, if you're comfortable with scaling now, you can. Dude, I am. I'm I'm ready to go. <laughs> then to go. go. All right, cool. Um, I'll keep you updated. Thanks for thanks for everything, and uh, let me let me get a call with you next week and see how it 